What if I told you that the world of Terminator 2 is here? No, I'm not talking about sentient AI and apocalyptic robots. I'm speaking of liquid-based robots that can transform from solid to liquid states, change shapes at will, and jailbreak. Well, the future is here. Crazy, right? Well, let me tell you how this science fiction came to life. A team of scientists has created tiny robots made of shape-shifting liquid metal that can move from a solid to a liquid state and back again, making them the most versatile robots out there. And the secret to their success? Magnetoactive phase transitional matter, or MPTM, magnetic fields, and gallium. By controlling the magnetic fields, these scientists can control the movement and shape of the liquid metal robots. This opens up a world of possibilities in biomedical and engineering technologies, from targeted drug delivery to circuit assembly. But why liquid metal robots when we already have soft, malleable robots? The answer is simple. These liquid metal robots have the speed and fluidity of a liquid and the strength and stability of a solid. So how did this groundbreaking discovery start? It was a joint effort from US and Chinese scientists King Yuan Wang, Chengfeng Pan, Yuan Zishan, Ji Peng Chen, Carmel Majidi, and Leilun Jiang. They all published a proof of concept paper titled Magnetoactive Liquid Liquid solid phase transitional matter in the matter journal that may just give rise to liquid robots. The rigid body of conventional robots limits what they can do and where they can go, so that has given rise to people looking for soft-bodied robots. These soft-bodied robots can reshape and deform their bodies to move in several ways to get a job done. However, there's a problem here. Because these robots are technically solid, they can't pass spaces smaller than their body. If, for example, we needed these robots to enter a tiny hole to fix a machine, that wouldn't be possible. It is because of this that scientists started messing around with liquid robots. These machines would be capable of splitting into different pieces, fitting into small spaces, and coming back together. However, yet again, there's a problem with this. Liquids are pretty weak because they deform when they take too much pressure, limiting what these liquid-based robots can do. So, an international team of scientists mix solid microscopic magnetic particles in gallium, a popular liquid metal, so they could get the best of the solid and liquid world. This is what they call magnetoactive phase transitional matter, also known as MPTM. This substance is remarkable because you can use magnets to push and pull the magnetic particles in MPTM, thus causing the MPTM to shapeshift in the same way that liquids and soft-bodied robots do. Also, the MPTM can change from solid to liquid and liquid to solid, just like the T-1000 in Terminator 2. However, what makes this truly possible is the liquid metal gallium the scientists used. You see, at sea level, this metal melts just before it hits 30 degrees Celsius. To put this simply, this metal has a melting point low enough that it melts in your hand, but high enough to stay solid at room temperature. To get the gallium to become liquid, the scientists use an oscillating magnetic field that keeps changing between the north and south magnetic poles. This causes those magnetic particles to oscillate in the gallium, generating heat and causing it to stay in a liquid state. Using magnets, the team of scientists can make the gallium transform into whatever shape they want and move in whatever direction they want. And to turn the metal back to solid, the magnetic field is simply turned off and the liquid cools back to solid. Still, you should know that the MPTP wasn't the first solid-to-liquid substance made. The past attempts were a bit gooey, to say the least. This made them a lot more limited in usage and practicality. I mean, think about it. It's easier for a liquid in the consistency of, say, oil to pass through tiny spaces than jelly. In one of the initial attempts to test the new liquid-based robot, researchers successfully integrated a tiny LED into a circuit that was difficult to access by using the robot as a versatile screw. The robot liquefied and then entered into the threaded opening before solidifying, effectively securing two plastic plates together. I mean, it was kind of a one-trick robot, but the job did get done. The researchers have also demonstrated the potential of the MPTM as a medical device as well. In one experiment, the MPTM 
PTM was introduced into the stomach in its solid form, then melted to envelop a foreign object and securely grasped it. The metal was then removed by guiding it out with a magnet. Another demonstration saw the MPTM deliver medication to a specific location in the stomach, where it melted to release the drug and then discreetly departed, much like a spy. At this point, I should point out that all these demonstrations were done in fake stomachs. For now, all of these are still in the experimentation stage, but the possibilities are limitless. These robots could enter the body and target cancer cells and kill them discreetly without the need for dramatic bouts of chemotherapy, or even, you know, be used for espionage. However, despite the boundless application for MPTM, the internal temperature of the human body is higher than the melting point of gallium. This means that if this ever became an actual medical procedure, the scientists would need a different metal. But don't worry, these researchers are already ahead of us as they've discovered a gallium alloy that can stay solid in the human body. Finally, the demonstration that was the craziest of all was the prison break. These researchers made a cute tiny robot Lego looking person from MPTM and put it behind bars. You should know that this innovative robot doesn't just contain gallium. Instead, it's been equipped with an alloy that combines three other powerful elements, iron, neodymium, and boron. This unique combination makes it highly responsive to magnetic fields, giving it a distinctive edge over others in its class. With all these properties, the robot could melt down, slither through the bars, and return to its original state, Terminator style, all in 10 minutes. At this point, I should add that with the proper magnetic field calibration, this mini-machine can spin at a rapid 1500 revolutions per minute, jump 20 times its height, and move at a speed of 1 meter per second. These impressive capabilities might not quite match the T-1000 from the movies, but it's still a remarkable bundle of energy. So if you were worried about post-apocalyptic robots, well, your fear may not be far off. On a more serious note, the MPTM would be a game-changer in many industries, requiring precise actions in hard-to-access places. This is all thanks to magnetism. Cheng Feng Pan, a co-author of the MPTM paper and engineer at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, had this to say. Giving robots the ability to switch between liquid and solid states endows them with more functionality. Thus, the next logical thing is to promote these materials to solve peculiar medical and engineering problems. The power of magnetism hasn't only helped in the creation of MPTM. A shape-shifting slime has also been created, a little similar to MPTM. PTM. This dark-colored magnetic blob has been making waves on social media and has even been compared to Flubber, the eponymous substance from the 1997 sci-fi film. But let me assure you, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is real scientific research. According to Professor Li Zhang of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, who co-created the slime which contains magnetic particles, the magnetic particles in the slime allow it to be manipulated into traveling, rotating, or forming ONC shapes when external magnets are applied. The ultimate goal is to deploy it like a robot, but for now it's still considered fundamental research. Magnetic slime has unique viscoelastic properties, meaning it can behave like a solid or a liquid. It's made of a mixture of borax, alcohol, polyvinyl, and particles of neodymium magnet. The researchers envision that magnetic slime could be helpful in the medical field, for example in reducing harm from a small swallowed battery. Still, this slime is not without dangers. While the magnetic particles in the slime are toxic, the researchers coated the slime in a layer of silica to form a protective layer. However, Professor Zhang warns that safety depends on how long it's kept inside the body. Finally, the researchers also mentioned that pigments or dyes could be added to the slime, which is currently an opaque brown-black hue to make it more colorful. But the shape-shifting substance saga doesn't just end there. It has been going on for a while. In 2017, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery in electronics soft robotics, and flexible displays. They found a way to morph liquid metal into 2D shapes using an electrical charge, making it possible to program and control the position and shape of the liquid dynamically. Professor Sriram Subramanian, head of the Interact Lab at the University of Sussex, explained, Liquid metals are an extremely promising class of materials for deformable applications. Their unique properties include voltage-controlled surface tension, high liquid state conductivity, 
and liquid solid phase transition at room temperature. In the same year, research engineers at Carnegie Mellon University created a metal alloy that exists in a liquid state at room temperature and has the potential to revolutionize the world of electronics. The group has uh, been working on engineering new types of materials that are soft and stretchable and could be used for applications in wearable computing uh, and also machines and robots that can physically interact with humans. These are materials that could operate kind of like artificial muscle or materials that can reconfigure their shape and their stiffness. Recently, we've also been looking at uses of liquid metal for uh, soft uh, actuators and uh, materials that have these shape-shifting properties. The alloy created by researchers Carmel Majidi, Michael Dickey, and James Visman is made from a combination of indium and gallium and only requires a voltage of 1 to 10 volts to form or break a circuit. Also so in early 2020, a team of researchers at Tsinghua University in China created a liquid metal material that was so light it could float on water. The researchers believe this material could be used to construct lightweight exoskeletons and shape-shifting robots. Despite its low density, the liquid metal material still maintained excellent conformability, stiffness, electric conductivity, and variety under temperature regulation. It may take some time, but these innovations could change the way we think about metal forever. Maybe not the apocalyptic end-of-the-world scenario of Terminator or the incredible espionage scenario of Mission Impossible, at least not yet, but in a way that would bring smiles to the faces of sick people who need medical attention, pushing us further into a better, healthier, and of course, more fabulous world. Join us next time and click on the videos you see on your screen.